is EY's stream. He's been making videos for seven days straight with no sleep. He really hopes that you love them. So like, subscribe, and hit the bell before today's video so he can finally take a nap. Please, guys, he's going crazy. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY stream back here with another Minecraft video and today guys I'm gonna be showing you five secret things you didn't know you can make in your very own Minecraft world with no mods or add-ons guys that is right 100% vanilla Minecraft guys and the best part is it is gonna work for any version of Minecraft whether you guys are playing on PlayStation, Xbox, PC I don't care, iPhone, iPad, literally anything guys, these builds will work for you. And guess what guys, we're not just going to be building some boring old builds, nah nah nah. We're going to be building some crazy things such as a drone design. And actually working a blanket so you can tuck yourself up nice and warm in a bed and a bubbly bath. Oh, that's right, guys. We're going to get some bubbles in the bath along with some other awesome builds, guys. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure to go down below and drop a like. Mr. Chicken, how many likes do you think we should get? Yes. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Guys, Mr. Chicken went pop, pop. And, uh, you know, I, I am actually a professional chicken translator. And uh, he said we should try to go for 3,000 likes, guys. So go drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, hope you're having a wonderful day. And make sure to slap the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. Ding, 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 ding. If you guys are feeling like being legends, those of you who have already subscribed and are part of the hashtag EY stream team, I love you so much. Thank you guys for being there always. But I think we should go ahead and get straight into today's video. So, let's go ahead and start. Now, our first build is a really awesome modern desk design. But it'd be pretty strange to build a desk in the middle of, um, hmm, nowhere, guys. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to build a mock house first. Now, what should we build, that was, guys? I'm thinking we're going to go with some spruce planks. And I also feel like red terracotta. Red terracotta, that's what we're going to use, guys. Now, obviously, guys, this is just an imitation. You don't have to use these blocks to build your house out of, guys. If you made your house out of other blocks, cool, I'm down with that, guys. It's just whatever you think looks nice. You know what? Our house doesn't need to be this big, I've just realized. We'll just we'll make it this big, right, guys? And so, you know, if, if, if you want to build it out of these blocks, I absolutely recommend doing that. Because just look at this design, guys. Look at, look at the way the red terracotta and spruce go together. Oh, my gosh. It's moi. Beautiful, guys. The red terracotta and the spruce look so nice together. But, of course, this is just an imitation house. If your house is made out of something else, it doesn't matter. That's cool. But we're going to go ahead and get these things we need for build number one. Now, this is what you guys are going to need. First off, we are going to need some signs. That is right, guys. We're going to need some signs. You are also going to need to grab some carpet. So we're going to get some gray carpet here, guys. You're going to need to grab some string. Ooh, what's going on here, guys? We also want to grab a slab, guys. And I recommend getting a spruce wood slab. Um, but it's totally up to you guys, whatever one you want. You are also going to need some doors. So we're going to grab a birch door and a dark oak door, guys. And finally, you are going to need to grab a birch stair. Now, guys, to build this, you want to go ahead and place one sign down just like this. Then you want to jump, leave a gap, place another sign right here, guys. And you want to place a spruce wood slab in the center. Then you want to grab your gray carpet and place one, two, three, just like that. And as you guys can see already, this is a really unique table or desk design because it's using signs to hold it up, which honestly is, n you pretty much never see that, guys. Once you have done this, though, you want to jump on this side and place the door right here so it's exactly aligned with our table. Then, if you guys can see, check it out, guys. It's this really awesome modern desk design that has this pushed in chair. And the reason why I like this so much is it can basically fit anywhere as you guys can see it's only one block wide so you can literally put this anywhere and if you've got a lighter colored house guys all you have to do is instead of using gray carpet maybe use white carpet and then you could use birch instead of spruce wood guys it's totally up to you and that's what i love about this build is there's just so much customizability guys and let's say you want the chair to be out so you can actually sit on it guys so what to do that we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a sign right here. We'll place a sign right there. Go ahead, place a string in the middle. Make sure it's up. You want it to be long ways. Um, um, okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, we're just going to put it that way, guys. To get it to go, you want to... Really, really, the string won't... Okay, no, fine. I wanted the string to go the other way, but it really doesn't matter, guys. So you want to place string in the middle. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and place your carpet above it. Just like that. Once again, can be any car color carpet you want. 
But I'm going to show you guys what this looks like with Birch. So we're going to go ahead and place Birch stairs here. And then you want to jump on the Birch stairs and place a Birch door there. Just like that. And check it out, guys. This is the, you know, kind of out, the chair out. So you can actually go ahead and sit on the chair, guys. And that's what it looks like in Birch. As you guys can see, both designs look great. This one is not as... Firstly, I don't like this one as much because it's wider, so it can't fit anywhere. Whereas this one can. But if you guys want an actually working desk that you can sit on, check it out, guys. I can sit on this desk, do my homework, and... Oh, no, I don't want to do homework, guys. No, 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 no. I'm just running away from this desk. Nope, I don't want to do homework, guys. I'm getting flashed back to school. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, I'd, maybe you don't want to build this desk, guys. But yeah, all around, these do look really, really awesome. Now, that is build number one, guys. Moving on to build number two, guys, is a really awesome drone design. So for this, you guys will want to go ahead and grab some white stained glass, some red stained glass, and then we're going to need some funky quartz slabs, guys. You're going to need to grab some iron trapdoors, and you're going to need iron blocks. And finally, guys, you are going to need some redstone comparators and a few beacons. That is everything you guys are going to need to build our uh, build our drone here. Now, guys, first off, you're going to need to use whichever block you want. Just kind of like a scaffolding block, so I recommend using dirt, guys. And you want to build up as high as you want to put the drone. Now, we're not going to go too high. I reckon we'll put it about, we'll put it about here. And then you want to go ahead and place a block. One coming out like this, one up, just like that, guys. So you get something that looks like that. Then you want to go ahead and place your quartz slab, guys. One uh, kind of on the top half of the block, guys. It's super important that there is a gap here between this block and the quartz slab, or the whole build is not going to work. Once you guys have done that, you can go ahead and destroy all these ugly dirt blocks. And then you want to go ahead and place white stained glass here, 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 and here, guys, so you get this kind of, like, cross shape. Then you want to go ahead and place an iron trapdoor here in each of the corners, guys, so you make a 3x3 three three square. And then you can go ahead and destroy each of those glass blocks. And as you guys can see already, it's beginning to look just like a drone. But to really make it look cool, you guys, you want to go ahead and place a comparator right here and turn it on as if it's the antenna of the uh, of the drone, guys, that is connecting. Or it could just be a really creepy, like, red eye. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But check that out, guys. That is our drone design. It looks really awesome. And this could look great as, like, a guard for your house or something like that, guys. Or just as an extra decoration. But you may be thinking, Ew, string. Why did you need all these other blocks? Now, let's say you guys want to make a landing pad for your drone, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. To do that, you want to go ahead and come to the... Uh, uh, the furthest left-hand bottom corner trapdoor here, guys. And you want to come right under it and go straight down. You want to dig one down, and then you want to dig a 3x3 three three wide square, just like that. And you want to go ahead and dig two more blocks down, so you get a three-deep 3x3 three three square. Then you want to go ahead and expand this square by another block, just like this size. So you end up getting a 5x5 five five square. That is three blocks deep, guys. So go ahead and do that, just like this. Then you want to go ahead, guys, and come under this trapdoor that we did earlier and place a beacon right there, guys. Make sure it does line up with the trapdoor or it's not going to work. Then, oh, I've done this wrong. You actually want to place iron here and then place the beacon on top of that, guys. You want to fill this entire base with iron. Uh, yep, sorry about that. I forgot about this small little step. You want to fill this entire base with iron and then fill uh, iron blocks coming right around the outside just like that. Then you want to go ahead and place beacons in each of the corners just like that. And as you guys can see, they will activate because beacons can pass through trapdoors, which looks really, really awesome in my opinion. Then to finish it off, guys, you want to place white stained glass on top of each of the beacons. Then you want to go ahead and fill this outside area with the iron blocks just like that. And place red stained glass in the middle just like that, guys. And check it out, we have your very own landing pad for our drone, guys. We got the red cross where it is to land, and I love the beacons because it makes it look as if the drone is like shooting down lasers to line up with the landing pad. And all around, I just think this looks super futuristic and super awesome. Um, yeah, this would look really cool in front of any modern build or like secret base, guys. I love this design, but that is build number two, guys. Moving on to build number three, which might be my favorite build of today's video. In fact, so good that I might use it as the thumbnail. And that is an actually a working uh, blanket, I think. That's how I'm going to say. It's like a working blanket in a Minecraft, guys, that allows you to tuck yourself up in your Minecraft bed. Because as you guys know, when you sleep on a Minecraft bed, you kind of just sleep on the top of it. And you don't get tucked into the blankets, guys. But that is all about to change today. Because I'm going to be showing you how you can make a working blanket design in Minecraft. 
Now, these are the things you guys are gonna need. You are gonna want to grab a bed. Obviously, guys, can be any color you like. I'm feeling like orange today, so that's what we're gonna use. Then you guys wanna go ahead and grab a uh, spruce wood slab, just like that. And now, I did say spruce wood slab, but it just needs to be whatever block you guys are using for your floor. So in this case, I am using spruce, but if you're using quartz, make sure to use a quartz half slab or whatever block you're using. Then you want to go ahead and grab a stair block, which is also whichever block you're using. Once again, that'll be spruce for me. You're going to need to grab a bookshelf. We're going to need a lever. You're going to want to go ahead and grab a redstone block, just like that, guys. Then you're also going to need some rails. Ooh, you may be thinking, why would I need rails? Hang with me, guys. You will understand very soon. So you need rails, and you're going to need a minecart as well as, finally, guys, you're going to need a sticky piston. And that is everything you guys are going to need for this build. Now, once you guys have done that, you want to place your bed down just like that. Then you want to come to the back here and dig two blocks out just like this guys now personally i recommend filling the back here with whichever block you're using as your floor block once you guys have done that you want to place your half slab directly under the pillow super important you get these steps right guys all this build's not gonna work then you want to grab your spruce wood stair and come onto the bed and place it like that so it is facing into the half slab once again the positioning is super crucial once you guys have done that you want to go ahead and smash out this back wall and place one block just like that then you want to jump onto this side, place rail, rail, so it's facing down into our bed. And then you want to place a minecart on top of the rail. That's right, guys. This is pretty weird. And you want to go, come on, I am. I am push that minecart straight into the bed. As you guys can see, that's kind of hiding underneath our bed. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and just put our wall back, guys, because it looks pretty strange having some rails just going into the bed. And yeah, that is kind of the first part of our bed do design done. But it's kind of annoying that you can see the whole minecart here. To fix that, guys, what I like to do is place a sticky piston right here. Place a bookshelf. Then go ahead, jump on this side and place a redstone dust right on top of the piston. And place a lever directly above the bookshelf. Now, when you go ahead and pull that lever, the bookshelf is going to go ahead and hide this kind of ugly side of the bed. But you may be thinking, EY Street! You said work and blanket design, and honestly, this looks like a normal bed with just a minecart under it. Guys, hold your horses. Check this out. If I go ahead and pull the bookshelf back, then go ahead and click this minecart. Have a look at this, guys. It actually looks like I am tucked under the blankets of my bed. And I think just this, this looks really cool and really unique, guys. Your friends are going to be like, yo, how are you doing that? And they'll have no idea of the sneaky little minecart you've got hidden under there, guys. And as you can see, you can jump out of it just like you would jump out of a normal bed, guys. And yeah, all around that looks really awesome. You can jump out, then you can hit the lever, and that'll hide off the minecart. Now, this bookshelf is optional, guys. If you want, you don't actually need to put that spruce wood stair there. It just makes things easier, because otherwise, you're only being able to hit this tiny little minecart point, which can be quite a pain, guys, and you can accidentally hit the bed instead. So I recommend definitely having this bookshelf, but once again, it's optional and up to you guys. Now, we are on to build number four. Drum roll, please. Let's go. Build number four is a working bathtub, guys. And not just any working bathtub. It's a working bubble bathtub, guys. Like, I know when I was little and I loved taking nice long baths. Bubbles were literally, like, the coolest thing ever, guys. Like, only the cool kids had bubble baths. They were awesome, guys. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can become a cool kid today, guys. And make that working bubble bath. Now, for this design, guys, you are going to need some quartz uh, stairs. You're going to need block of quartz guys you're going to grab some item frames just like that you're going to need some levers you're going to need some oh i you're gonna need some red concrete and then some light blue concrete guys and of course it's a bar so you guys are going to need to grab some water and that is everything we need for stage one of our working bubble bath in minecraft what you want to do is grab your stair blocks and place one two three four just like that you want to place one here one here and then go one two three four and fill in the base here with quartz blocks once you guys have done that as you can see that is our bathtub shape you want to obviously fill the bathtub with water otherwise it'd be just i don't know like a quartz hole or whatever so you want to go ahead and fill in the bathtub with water and thanks to the brand new uh, aquatic update the water goes right to the edges of the stairs making it look like a legit bathtub which i really love guys then you want to go ahead and fill this back wall in here with quartz blocks. And you want to chuck an item frame on the left and right hand sides. 
and place red concrete in this side. This is going to be our red water side. Uh, red water. Not red water. This is going to be our hot water side. And this is going to be our light blue. So for, for our cold water, guys. And then we're going to place one... Oh, 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 one, two levers, just like that, guys. And as you can see, these are our little taps here, guys. This is for hot water, this is for cold water, and voila, it looks just like a bathtub. But now, we need to get those beautiful bubbles happening. So for this, guys, you are going to need a very special block known as the command block. So to grab one of these, guys, it's super simple. Do slash give in your chat space at P space command underscore block and then go ahead and hit enter guys and you will be gifted with one of these beautiful blocks then guys you want to go ahead and do slash game rule and you want to do show coordinates space true just like that guys and hit enter and as you guys can see in the top left hand corner right now it is showing my coordinates and that's going to be super important for this build then right behind your hot water lever guys you want to place a command block right there then you want to go ahead and jump in the kind of jump. Make sure you line yourself up with the hot water lever. Now, these are really important steps, guys. And if you mess them up, this is not going to work. So make sure to follow along carefully. So you want to stand right in the center of your bathtub here, guys, lining up with your hot water lever. As you guys can see, we have coordinates in the top left-hand corner. Now, these are going to be different depending on your Minecraft world. Now, it's super important you remember these. So for me, it's negative 44 space 4 space 34. I recommend writing these down either on a piece of paper or tablet. This is going to be super important, guys. So what you want to do is jump over to your command block over here and do summon. And then you want to go ahead and do oh, 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 summon a space silver fish. Just like that, guys. It's super important you get these commands right. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Then you want to go ahead and get those coordinates we had earlier. So for me, that is negative 44. And then, all right, and then we've got 4. All right, so it's negative 44, 4. And then finally, I believe it is 34, guys. Just like that. And those were my coordinates. This will be different depending on your Minecraft world. But make sure you get these coordinates right or this just isn't going to work, guys. Once you've done that, you want to switch this block over to repeat and leave that. Then, right next to it on the left, guys, you're going to want to place another command block and switch this on repeat and do kill space at E square bracket type equals silver fish and then end a bracket just like that, guys. Use a curly bracket and then go ahead and switch this one to always active and repeat as well. Once you guys have done those two things, check this out. When I hit this hot water lever, it's going to put hot water into the bath and we're going to get bubbles, guys. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. Pull the lever and check this out, guys. We actually have, look at that, we have bubbles inside our bath and we also have steam coming out of our bath because obviously if you're pouring hot water into a bath, guys, obviously we're going to have some steam coming out. Now you may notice there is a ton of text in the top left, uh, left hand corner and it's ugly. To get rid of that, guys, you want to do game rule and then you want to do command block output space false hit enter guys and that is going to disappear so now you can go ahead and enjoy your warm bubble bath guys now honestly i just love this build so much because look at that you get actual bubbles inside your bath so it's a working bubble bath but because there's hot water going here you have that nice steamy particle effect coming out of your bath and honestly that just looks awesome like i just want to jump in here and take a bath guys and be like i'm having a nice warm bath -na 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 -na. In the bus, singing in the shower. Wait, are you guys watching me while I'm trying to take a bath? Excuse me! Privacy, please, guys. Just kidding. It's okay. I was fully clothed. I wasn't naked or anything. Otherwise, that would have been very awkward. But yeah, check that out. Working a bubble bath in Minecraft, guys. And actually, I said this was my favorite build, but this might actually be my favorite build now, guys. But anyway, guys, we're going to move on to our final build of today. Build number five. And it is a really awesome modern fireplace, but it's a little different to your regular fireplace, guys. First off, we're going to go ahead and start expanding this house. You know, just our random as house that, you know, just happens to be just one wall. But we're going to go ahead and expand it anyway, guys. Now, the unique thing about this build here, guys, that I'm about to show you is that generally fireplaces are against the wall. What makes this fireplace so, so special, guys, is the fireplace is actually in the center of the room. So it's like the center feature, guys. 
But the problem is, is normally when you make a fireplace the center of a room in a wood house, like we have a wood floor right here, normally it lights everything on fire, guys. But I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this. Now, this build looks best with a high roof, but it also works in low roof rooms, guys. It's totally up to you guys. So I'm just going ahead and building our high roof right here. And then we can go ahead and get started on our modern fireplace build, guys. That really just looks so much better than every other normal fireplace. Once you guys have the plate, you know, once you guys have chosen where you want to build your fireplace, you want to go to your roof and dig right in the center, guys. You need to make sure it is in the center because we want to build this fireplace as the centerpiece of our room. Now, the items you guys are going to need for this include cobblestone walls, gray stained glass. You are also going to need to go ahead and grab some netherrack, just like that, guys. You're going to need some adenosite, polished adenosite specifically, guys. And finally, you will also need a flint and steel. And as you guys can see, there isn't a lot of stuff you need for this build, which is another reason it's so great, because it's really, really simple. What you guys want to do is line yourself up with your hole in your roof, go down and place a gray stained glass just like that. Then you're going to place cobblestone wall just like that. And this is going to act as like our chimney, but one of the more modern chimneys, because nowadays we don't generally have huge chimneys like they did in the past. We have these little exhaust pipes, guys, that go straight into our roof. And you can go ahead and fill in your roof just like that. And that's going to make our, you know, fireplace chimney. Then you want to go ahead and break the blocks under here just like that, guys. And you want to break one block deeper in the center and place nether rack in there. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and light up that nether rack and fill the surrounding areas with the polished adenosite. And check this out, guys. Does that not look like a absolutely beautiful modern fireplace? We have this small little flame, so it's not like a ginormous one. We've got nice little smoke particle effects coming out of it. The polished adenosite is stopping anything from catching on fire. And all around, this just looks like a nice chill area. Like, I would want to chill right here, guys. Like, honestly, it's just so nice and warm and just cozy, guys. I just want to sit here with a, like, a, like a wine glass and be like, I like my drink shaken, not stirred. If you guys watch James Bond, you guys get that reference. But yeah, that's just a really nice fireplace that's really unique. And your friends will go, wow, I think that looks really cool. Because fireplaces are so overdone, guys. And they're so common. But having something like this is really unique. And I love it, guys. But that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. I better turn this bath off, guys. Because, you know, we don't want hot water continuously going in the bath. Just like that. And uh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys you can actually turn that thing off. But yeah, you can turn it on and off, guys. But that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you learned something new, how about, how about you leave a like, guys? Because it's, it's a lot of work trying to get all these builds, guys. So I would appreciate if you dropped a like, guys. And, of course, if you are in a new channel and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon to ding, 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 ding. So you always get the newest builds the minute they come out, guys. And you can show off to your friends. But that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, watch your mouth. Bye.